Hello, everyone. Today is June 1st. Where are we going? I don't know. Happy June, everyone. I really hope I got this video out before July comes. This trip is a gift from Stingy Michael for my graduation, so he's generous Michael for today. We're going to Historic Town, and then before planes were invented, people from DC, wealthy people would travel down here mm -hmm. as their like little vacation summer spot. Interesting. So it's like an old, old town, good seafood. So we arrived. This, this town is called St. Michael's, apparently. It looks very similar to where my grandma lives in China. Besides, just all the signs are in English. What do you think, Mr. Michael? I think the hotel is a little farther than I thought from the And there's no other pistachian. Wait, pistachian? What am I saying? Pistachian. Wait, no. Pedestrian. Pedestrians. There it is. <laughs> There's no other pedestrians. I'm gonna cut there. <laughs> Keep it. <laughs> other than us two. Snow cones caught his eyes before we even heading into the town. I didn't like it because it tastes just like syrup and color dye. Then we came to this restaurant called the Fox's Harbor Grill, which is a highly rated crab and shrimp place. We were told the wait was around 30 minutes long and they couldn't hold seats, so we just played a cornhole for a while. We soon got seatings. We ordered Cajun fries, jumbo shrimp with honey sriracha, and a shrimp and crab roll. This town is tranquil. Everyone smiles and says hi to you. Most of the stores sell unique handmade souvenirs for visitors. There are some interesting ones, such as the sail bags. All the bags are made of sails, the fabric that uses wind to propel sailing crafts, a grandma style store, mostly baby and pats related stuff, and a Christmas ornament store that also opens in the summer. Baby. Happy the next day. Hello everyone, today is June 2nd and we're now heading to a brunch place. What is the brunch place called again? Who is by the sea? The next day we went to Tillman Island. It looks far on the map from St. Michael's, but it really was just a 15 minutes drive. There are just a handful of restaurants on the island and the place we went to feels just like eating outside of someone's backyard. Everyone seems to know each other. The waitress just sat down and started to gossip with some customers as if they were neighbors drinking afternoon tea together. After brunch, we went to Black Mona Point to see the Chesapeake Bay, which is the end of this island. As recommended by one of the shop owners yesterday, we went on to an adventure to the neighbor island, Oxford. We had to call a boat to take us there, and it uses the oldest style of signal sign, which is just a yellow painted wooden board. I think the boat is coming to us. We got on the boat. So where? What are we gonna do then? We're only there for the Scottish ice cream and to look at the old houses and the, the ferry itself. Going into Oxford, the most interesting sign they have there says the first island that fooled the British. I was like, you were proud of fooling the British, but you were still named after Oxford. This island is very tiny. All we did was getting their most selling side, the Scottish ice cream. It took us only 40 minutes to 
total to walk around the whole area, but it is a lovely place you don't want to miss.